Marshall House is a very haunted place in Savannah. It was built in 1851 and during the Civil War was occupied by General Sherman and used as a Union hospital until the end of the war. 1864 was an extremely cold year and the ground was frozen. Rather than bury body parts, the doctors were forced to bury them under the floorboards. It's said by many that the Marshall Hotel is a great hotel to have a paranormal encounter. When the hotel was restored in 1999, workers were replacing some damaged floorboards downstairs when they found human remains. The area was closed and treated as a crime scene, but they soon learned that the downstairs had once been the hospital surgery room. Otherworldly stories persist about the property. Before the hotel reopened in August of 1999, the staff reported strange odours and something they could only describe as bad vibes. This come from rooms 214, 314 and 414. Many different types of deodorizers were used to no avail, and even an ozone machine was tried to remove the odour without success. Finally, the staff tried something drastic, a group prayer. This works nearly immediately in rooms 214 and 314, but 414 was different. That particular room had an aura and an odour so oppressive that the staff members could not stay in the room long enough to pray. Finally, the housekeeping manager fixed on a unique solution. A radio tuned to a gospel station was placed in the room, with the volume turned up. This apparently worked since the odour and strange menacing vibes have not been experienced since. Some staff members and guests have reported hearing the sounds of a small child bouncing a ball up and down the hallways of the hotel. Many hotel guests have asked about the disembodied sounds of the pitter-patter of child's feet in the halls, or of a child laughing. A physician and his wife mentioned an encounter with something paranormal at a checkout one morning. It seems the doctor had been awakened several times by a gentle tickling sensation on his feet. This happened in the middle of the night. In his sleepy state, he was convinced that an apparition was responsible for the sensation of something lightly brushing his feet. The last time it occurred, he looked down to see a little girl tickling his feet. She smiled and vanished. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.